Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Courtney with Cake by Courtney, and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade salted caramel. It's actually so easy, and it is so incredibly delicious. You won't ever want to buy caramel from the store again. So let's head to the stove, and let me show you how to make it. We're going to start by putting some water and sugar in a little just saucepan on the stove. And I'm actually going to add a little bit of corn syrup. This helps so that the sugar doesn't caramelize and we get a really beautiful kind of glossy look. You don't need too much. So just a couple teaspoons is all you need. We're going to let this sit. After we whisk it together and the sugar is dissolved, you need to back away. That is like take two steps back. Do not worry about stirring this while the sugar is cooking. You actually want it to just do everything on its own until it becomes this really beautiful kind of amber caramel color. And you'll start to even smell it and know that it's about ready to be done. But just let it sit. It's going to boil. It's going to look really light in color for a while. But be patient because as soon as it starts to change color, it's going to move fast and you don't want it to burn. We're going to turn off the heat. And we're gonna very slowly add our heavy whipping cream. And now it's nice to have your heavy whipping cream even heated a little bit, but very slowly we're gonna stir that and whisk that in to our caramel mixture. And once that's all poured in, we're gonna add a little bit of salt and some vanilla. We just got done with the caramel. And I just, I'm stirring it just one last little bit. Now it's still hot. So I'm just gonna pour it in my mason jar to cool. I'm not gonna put a lid on it or anything. Now it still looks pretty thin. Do not let that get you worried. Totally okay, just like this. It will thicken as it's sitting out and as it cools. So once it gets completely to room temperature, that's when I can store it in the refrigerator and I'll cover it with the lid. Um, but she looks beautiful. That color is perfect. And we let it get to about 320 degrees Fahrenheit, just right around there. I like mine to get just on like the darker side of that caramel amber color. Cause then you get that kind of extra, I don't know, toasty, like not burnt, but like almost there, if you know what I mean. And you'll start to smell it. And as you're working on caramel and you're making this more and more, you'll really get to know kind of the exact point that you love, but kind of look for that 320 degrees and then that really deep, beautiful amber color. You're gonna be able to use this on so many things. Of course, I love to use it in my buttercream recipes, in between cake layers. You can put it on your ice cream, put it on cookies. I love using it in my no-bake caramel apple cheesecake bars, and it can be stored in the refrigerator for a couple weeks. Just make sure it gets to room temperature, seal it up, store it in the fridge, and if it starts to thicken too much, you can always reheat it so it's a little bit more pourable. Anyway, that's it for today's episode, homemade salted caramel. I can't wait for you to try it. You'll get the recipe down in the couch.